All right, so let's take a look at a number of examples with the direct comparison test here. So what do you do first? Determine whether this series converges or diverges. You make sure your terms are positive. Okay, so I'm starting at one. Everything is being squared, added together, divided into five. This is positive. We're good to go. So positive. Check. How about the nth term? What does it do? So if we were to take the limit, and again, I would probably just do this in my head, the limit as n approaches infinity of, I'll just call this a sub n right here. Well, the top stays at five and the bottom just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is going to zero. What do you know? You really don't know anything, but um, that's always a very quick thing to check because if that test failed, you're pretty much done. And that's a very quick thing to check. Okay, so now then, why don't I just do, let's say, the integral test that we learned in the last lesson? And the reason is, is I sure don't want to take the antiderivative of that. That's the reason. Also, when I look at the, the uh, dominant terms here, it looks sort of like 1 over n squared, kind of like our last one, which if I put the little series thing in there, we know that this is a convergent Oops, convergent p series. I think that looks right. I think I've been staring at it too long. It looks wrong. Anyway, so let's see if we can compare it directly to this series, which we know converges. Since it converges, then we need to make sure that this one is smaller. All right, so let's try that, shall we? So I have 5 over 2n squared plus 4n plus 3 is less than or equal to 1 over n squared. All right, is that true? I don't know. These look way, way different. Okay, so then let's go ahead and cross multiply like we do. Since everything is positive, we're going to be in good shape here not to switch the inequality. I have 5n squared. Is that less than or equal to 2n squared plus 4n plus 3? Um, again, I don't know. So maybe I subtract this 5n squared over to the other side. 0 is less than or equal to negative 3n squared, right? Plus 4n plus 3? Question mark? I don't know. So this is not an inequality that I can necessarily establish here. So I need to go back to the drawing board. And what I left off here is the 5 and the 2 right here. So what if I change this? Let's, uh, let's get the eraser here and maybe put in a 5 and a 2 here. And then what I could do is I could factor out Remember, this is a property of series here, 5, because it's like you're multiplying each of your terms by 5 over 2. And uh, that means it's a common term in all of your, your terms. So you can factor it out, 5 over 2 times your series of 1 over n squared, which also is going to converge. Does that make sense? If like, for example, this is convergence, and we just multiply it by 2.5. This is some sort of finite number that it reaches 7, who knows. And we're multiplying it by 2.5. It's still going to converge. So let's see if we can compare it to this one now. <gasps> okay. All right, so we'll go back to being blue here. That was a dead end. Sometimes that happens. Okay, no problem. We still need to be smaller than a convergent. So 5 over 2n squared plus 4n plus 3 is less than or equal to 5 over 2n squared. OK, so now I think I can pretty much conclude this one because the denominator here is a little bit bigger than the denominator here. So this is going to be overall a smaller number. But you know, maybe I don't notice that. I'm taking the test and I'm sweating through it. Go ahead and cross multiply here. Brain's not working or something. Who knows? So 10n squared on the left side is less than or equal to, multiply everything by 5 here. 10n squared plus 20n plus 15. Subtract off your 10n squared. You have 0 is less than or equal to 20n plus 15. This is definitely true. Remember that n starts at 1 and just gets bigger. 
So all of these numbers are always positive. So this is definitely true for n is greater than or equal to 1, which is what I need. OK, so we have established the inequality. We've demonstrated that our series is smaller than a convergent one. So we just need to write that up. So we need to start with, since 0 is less than our series, which I think was 5 over 2 n squared plus, that's a squared right there, gosh, 4 n plus 3, which is less than or equal to 5 over n, 2 n squared. And so there's the inequality. Now you have to discuss the convergence of a series composed of these terms. A series, n equals 1, infinity of 5 over 2 n squared is a convergent p-series. It's actually a multiple of a convergent p-series. I'm being as thorough as I can. Um, so we're smaller than a convergent. The proper conclusion is then the series composed of our terms, n equals 1 to infinity of 5 over copy and paste business, 4n plus 3, also converges. And if you want to, you can say by the direct comparison test, assuming you remember what it's called in the heat of the moment. And then that should do it.